Hi everyone, welcome to episode 3 of the Leadership Mastery program. I'm Yuri Galimidi and in this episode I want to discuss executive presence, why it is an important leadership quality and how you can boost your executive presence. And as promised, before we dive into the details of executive presence, I wanted to tell you the end of Julie's story and the outcome of her application for this very coveted uh, position as a project leader. So the next morning, um, Julie came into my cubicle, knocked on the frame of the cubicle and said a cheerful good morning, Yuri. I knew what was coming. And I asked her as cheerfully, what happened yesterday, Julie? How was your interview with the vice president? And she said, you would not believe it. He gave me the job right there and then. Wow, I said, this is a call for celebration. So let me pull out your favorite morning drink, I said, and let's have a toast. And as I was talking, I pulled out my bottom drawer and I took out two beautiful crystal glasses and placed them on my desk. And then I took out my bottle of Perrier water, which I prepared from the day before. And we shared a toast to Julie's promotion to this very important position she was seeking. Executive presence is by far the most sought after leadership quality that my coaching clients ask me to help them with. They all speak about more presence and gravitas that will help them influence their audiences, whether it is their clients or their executive committees, or their team members, whoever it might be. And so, in my research that I've conducted a few years back into this topic, I came across the work by Professor Amy Cuddy of the Harvard Business School. And I encourage you to view her 2012 TED Talk that has probably the highest, one of the highest viewerships on the TED Talk program. More than 52 million people have viewed her presentation to date. And the brilliance of the work of Dana Carney, Amy Cuddy and Andy Yap is the simplicity of their experiment. And here is what they've done. They engaged two groups of students one as a control group and one as an intervention group, as the scientists call it. The intervention group was asked to assume a high power pose, as you can see in the picture above here, for two minutes. That's all they had to do, just assume this power pose for two minutes. The control group was asked to assume a low power position, low power pose, for two minutes as well. And the scientists measured the level of two hormones in the saliva of those students before and after the experiment. They measured the level of testosterone, which is the high confidence, assertion, aggressiveness hormone, and cortisol, which is the stress hormone, as it is known again before and after the experiment. And here is what they found. The student who took the high power position had a much higher, significantly higher level of testosterone in their saliva after the experiment. And the low power group had a lower level of testosterone, meaning they were even less assertive and less confidence after assuming the low power position for two minutes. Similarly with cortisol, the high power pose group 
had a much lower, significantly lower level of cortisol, of stress hormone in their saliva after the two minute high power pose. And the low power pose group had a higher level of cortisol, meaning they were more stressed out after assuming for two minutes the low power pose. So the conclusion of the researchers was very simple. Assume a high power pose for two minutes before any important meeting, presentation, interview, and it will significantly increase your level of assertiveness and confidence as you step into this very important meeting, presentation or interview. So I took the research outcome of Amy Cuddy and her colleagues, added one step to it, and here is my recommendation for how you can significantly boost your executive presence. Before every important meeting or presentation or interview or any important event, find a quiet place, sit down for five minutes, assume a power pose as illustrated in Amy Cuddy's TED talk. And here is the added component. Visualize yourself as highly confident and highly successful in the endeavor that you are about to experience, be it a meeting, a presentation, an interview, whatever it might be. Just vividly visualize yourself as the main actor in that situation, acting confidently and successfully for five minutes. That's all you have to do, just five minutes. And I can promise you that you will not be disappointed with the outcome and the results of this technique. So in summary, presence and gravitas is one of the most sought after leadership qualities that, that my coaching clients ask me to help them with. And boosting your executive presence really requires a very simple technique. Sit down in a power pose for five minutes or so. Visualize yourself as confident and successful in the endeavor you're about to embark on and you will not be disappointed with the results. And before I sign off for today, I'd like to ask you to share this presentation with all your colleagues and friends whom you think might be finding it of value. Also, I'd like to extend a personal invitation to you. If you are at a career crossroad, or if you want to improve your leadership qualities and grow further in your current position, please contact me for a free introductory coaching call. And again, I can assure you, you will not be disappointed. Until our next episode in two weeks, take care and make sure that tomorrow you will try to do just a little bit better than today. Bye-bye.